285 pound Nasser El Fambani. I mean, Nasser is, 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 is fantastic. You see how he keeps the waist small. Tremendous arm development, fantastic serratus. Look at the latissimus in the pectoral muscles. The thighs, look at the thigh development now. You can see that how well proportioned he is. Tremendous definition. He's known for his thighs. There's a lot of heavy, heavy squats always. And appears to be holding the stomach. Yeah. The back is not as defined as it could be, I have to say. But again, this is just talking about, you know, does he have a chance to win? I think his back maybe will uh, cost him a few points, especially the lower back you can see right now. It's not as defined as the upper back is. So they could cost him some points. What was the most difficult area for you to develop? I think that it was thighs and calves, you know, it was very difficult. Everyone has a specific body part that is difficult for them to develop because of your heredity. You know, hereditary, you know, you wanted certain kind of strengths and weaknesses, and that was mine. Uh, and uh, so, but I mean, that was okay. You just have to know it early enough and then do something about it and train it harder. See, his front is absolutely flawless. The abdomen also great. The definition of his pectoral muscles is great. Very defined thighs, great arms. Look at this, the waist is small. He keeps his waist in, keeps it always flexed. So the front is flawless. But like I said, the back could cost him a few points because the back is not as defined as the front. Terrific most muscular pose. Trying to work on the crowd. After health and body. Very well done. Really great with being powerful. Here you can see his small waist. It's very clear here that he has a tremendously small waist and very muscular. He knows how to control his abdominals. And here again in this pose, you see very clearly that he does have a weak point. His back is not as defined as his front that you have just seen and basically caught him points. Stage with Flex Wheeler, one of the leading contenders for uh, the Arnold Classic Championship tonight. And Flex, uh, a great pre-judging here in the final moments. Uh, what are your thoughts heading into this last round? Um, right now, I'm just trying to keep my mind out of everything else. Uh, the next phase is our posing round, and I sort of want to concentrate on. I want to get ahead about what's going to happen after that, and just that another. Um, I just want to go out and, and hopefully I can deliver what's inside of me to the audience. And once I do that, then I'll say okay. Our next contestant comes from Santa Monica, California. Please welcome Flex Wheeler. Another champion in the Arnold Classic, Flex Wheeler. Out of California. The real name, of course, Kenneth Martin, but you'll understand why they call him Flex here in just a moment. <laughs> Tremendous proportions. As a matter of fact, I think in this competition he came uh, in lighter than ever before. He's not as big as he was, but he's uh, uh, as defined, if not more defined than ever. He has beautiful proportions, he has a small waist. So he's a very, very tough guy to beat. But he also won the Arnold's Classic, as you mentioned earlier. Uh, it's great back development. Uh, I have so far not seen the flaw. You see, he keeps his waist in, even though it's not a shot, an abdominal shot. Well, the it's the most muscular pose. The music is appropriate then because this is mint condition, and he That's is right. in mint condition. He's in mint condition. Look at this. He smiles. Look, you see how he keeps the waist? That is extremely important to always show your waist to the smallest. What he has decided early on, I guess, uh, this year is that he is going to win with proportions and symmetry rather than just with size. And so he went for that. And it's a very smart move. I think it's going to really play well the day with the judges. 
He has been as big as 273 pounds, with Flex Wheeler here competing at 230 pounds on his 5 foot 11 inch frame. And it looks much better. The 235 looks much better. Look at it. Everything is well rounded. So far, I haven't seen a weak point. Let's see the back. Tremendous back development. The latissimus comes all the way down to the waist. Now he shows the thickness with his double bicep pose. He's moving up slowly with the double bicep. Look at his back. He really dramatizes it because he knows it, so he's very well developed in the back. Look at the split. So flexibility to go along with his muscularity. Exactly. I think that he's the only bodybuilder that I know that can go down in the split position. And again, this is something that counts with the judges because flexibility amongst bodybuilders is always very important uh, because of the size and so, so you always practice flexibility. And to see that, I think it really will give him some extra points. Here you can see the gigantic musculature on the back, the definition, the symmetry. Now it goes confidence. You see, that's important. Look at the thighs. It's the cost variations and everything. He really plays the crowd. Look at this. And the crowd has got to be with him. Flex Wheeler looking his very best again. Past champion here in 93, the Arnold Classic. Fantastic. I think he did a great job in building our, uh, I think that. <laughs> He's going to be extremely well denied. Here's his bicep and tricep development, which is fantastic. And look at the separation between arms and shoulders. He has very tiny waist, very, very tiny waist. Controls it all the time, flexes his abdominals, keeps the vacuum in, keeps it flat. It's wonderful. Here is the split I was talking to you about earlier, oh, all the way down here. This is going to gain some points for him uh, because very few people can do that. Well, it is time to bring the six finalists and the Arnold Classic out. This is Paul Gillette. Nasser El Sambadi. Competitor number eight, Vince Taylor. Vince Taylor, former champion here. Competitor number nine, Mike Francois. Another former champion here, Mike Francois. One more to go. And competitor number 12, Flex Wheeler. Flex Wheeler, it's Flex Wheeler. So Arnold Schwarzenegger, Kevin Lavroni, a two-time champion, not making the final six. Yes, uh, as I said, I saw some problems there, and uh, he was not as defined as he was before. From left to right in this final pose down, Paul Gillette, Ronnie Coleman, Nasser El Sanbadi, Vince Taylor, Mike Francois, and Flex Wheeler. Now, Michael Francois, Flex Wheeler, and Vince Taylor, all former champions here. This is a very important round for the judges because it really gives them one more chance to watch them side by side with exactly the same pose. So if they're a little bit confused about the afternoon performance, about the individual posing routine, here they can still check it out one more time and say to themselves, let's check it one more time. Am I right with my decision here? What was your strategy in the post down? Well, in, in the post down, in, in this particular one, it was always, I just thought of one thing, and this is put everything that you got together now, because this is an important thing where the judges look one more time at your body and comparing it with everyone else. So pull your act together, pull your waist in, flex everything that you've got to flex, and use it now, because this is the last chance that you have this and then the Gentlemen, individual like pose off. judges would like to see flex next to Nasser. So mentioning Flex Wheeler's name means that this is the guy that they are thinking of picking as the top guy. He's not even to make sure is he really the top guy or not. So he must be ahead of the points, otherwise I cannot imagine why they do that. Well you certainly get a stark comparison here. Nasser El Sambadi is, is thick, thick, thick. And the other one is more defined and more uh, well proportioned Flex Wheeler. 
Here they're comparing the back poses. The judges want to see those two athletes next to each other. You just see, look at it, the back. You can see Flex Wheeler's back was more defined. And therefore, again, this again will confirm that he's better than everyone else. This is an abdominal comparison. He has the best waistline, I think, of everyone. Look at this. How small. Huge thighs. And he keeps that smile. And if the music man's ready, pose down. Okay, now it's going to be the pose down. So that, that, that means, uh, uh, you know, the pose off now is very important. Because this is where the judges see you the last time and they make their decision. Well, we got a little mind game going on here with Black and NASA. He says to himself, I'm not going to be hectic. I'm not going to, you know, match your shot for shot. Follow me. So he caught his disease. Now it's in his own pose. Let him follow him. He gets his strength showing. Now they move around. See, obviously, uh, uh, NASA was not happy standing next to Flex Wheeler. So he walked away from him and walked right over to the other side where he maybe has a better chance. Now he walks back. He knows he's got to be center stage. Exactly. Flex Wheeler, third move. He got to swat his sweat off. Not a good move. Okay, but he keeps smiling, so that's very good. Very good. Very well proportioned. So I would not walk around that much at this point. I would just keep one shot after the other and keep hammering away like a machine gun. Bang, 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 bang. Pose after pose. See, this is where you have to show energy. This is where you have to show to the judges that you've got it in you. That if they call for another two hours of pose down, you have it. They don't. I am the champion, they are not. That's what you want to sell here. And um, so I think that the more energy you bring in here, the better it is in this pose off. Now it is head to head competition between these two. Who will win the 97 Arnold Classic? We'll have the answer when we return to Columbus, Ohio. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, of the most muscular trophy, Flex Wheeler. Arnold Schwarzenegger presenting the most muscular trophy for Flex Wheeler. And up on the stage with Arnold Schwarzenegger and the master of ceremonies, Clint Richards, is his old rival, Franco Colombo, who has gone out here. Flex Wheeler, most muscular in the 97 Arnold Classic. When we return to Veterans Memorial in Columbus, Ohio, the judges will present the championship trophy in the Arnold Classic. Ohio native, final two, Flex Wheeler on the right, Nasser El Sambati on the left. Nasser El Sambati, Nasser El Sambati, second place, $45,000. The champion is Flex Wheeler. He has won it again, and total exultation and almost disbelief. So Nasser El Sambati, $45,000, and Flex Wheeler is overcome with joy. And obviously our champion is Flex Wheeler. Flex Wheeler and Arnold Schwarzenegger hands him the trophy. Flex Wheeler winning it again. And oh so impressive here in the 97 Arnold Classic. Yeah, Flex, just a quick question. You've won now for the second time the Arnold Classic. You've had in between a bad car accident, came back with the, the hard training and all this. Tell us just quickly to the audience how you feel and how much training went into all this. Um, I'm a lot for words right now. I just want to say thank you. Um, this is definitely the hardest um, I ever trained for, so it meant a lot to me um, to come here and do well. And um, I'm glad to see that hard work pays off, and through God I can do anything. Thank you. Thank you very much, Flex. I hope you're back. Thank you. More with Arnold and our champions when we come back.
Welcome back. Let's go to Arnold Schwarzenegger and our champion, Flex Wheeler. Arnold? Thank you, Greg. And here, of course, we have our champion, Flex Wheeler, who won the most muscular competition and the Arnold's Classic of 1997. How does it feel now coming back for the second time and winning it after, you know, 1993, you won it the last, the first time, and now back again? Um, I can't even describe it with words. It's just it's an honor to be here and then to win in 1997 after everything that happened as far as my car accident and everything. It's just, you know, just um, I'm elated. I'm overwhelmed right now. What did you do mentally? How did you psych yourself up for that mentally to keep uh, determined and to, to have this goal in mind always and do not, uh, you know, get uh, distracted with the accidents and all those kind of things? Um, I really had a, um, that was basically what it was, a, a mental battle. And um, I'm really a, a predator when it comes to competition. I can't stand to lose. And um, I knew that um, I had to prove to myself first still that I can deal it because if I didn't believe in myself, it's no way that I was going to prove it to anyone else. So I really had to dig deep and do some soul searching. And when I came up with the energy, it was just blast off from there. And I was just full steam ahead from there. Congratulations, Flex. Flex, you're absolutely fantastic. It's very unique, as you know, to win the most muscular yeah, trophy definitely. and the award championship, the Arnold's Classic. So congratulations. You, and I sure hope that you're back. Thank you, okay, Greg. Thank you, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Congratulations, Flex Wheeler. The top six, once again, Paul Gillette in sixth. In fifth, Vince Taylor. In fourth, Ron Coleman. In third, Michael Francois. In second, winning $45,000, Nasser El Sambadi. And, of course, the champion, $100,000 to Flex Wheeler. And uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you're back with us again. Spectacular performance by Flex Wheeler. I think he was speechless. I think it was a big surprise for him to come back after the car accident and uh, to win this competition again. But he was in best shape. And as uh, I, I told you earlier, he has a good chance to pull it off. And uh, you could see that he won the most muscular trophy and also the overall championships, the world championships of the Arnold's Classic. So he's really a, a, a top guy. Combining two uh, very special aspects of the sport, having the, the body symmetry as well as the muscularity. That's exactly what he has proven today, and I think this is really terrific. And uh, one should give credit also, of course, uh, to NASA El Sambadi, who was a fierce competitor, who was really in, in his best shape ever. And I think that uh, we will hear a lot from him in the future.